All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about what they could be adding inside of the part two of the summer update. Um, none of these up, none of these things are confirmed. It's just my predictions. But yeah, so let's go right into it. The tornadoes are gonna be coming. Tornadoes um are not like impossible to script, and they'd be a pretty cool addition to ERLC. And I mean, what else could they be adding? There's not too many other ideas that I have uh for the summer update. But yeah, so uh. The next idea that I have, what they could be adding, is a new civilian cars, including some maybe some Teslas and some other cars like that. We already got that new, um, what is it, Bronco, is it? I forgot. I think it was, like, some kind of Jeep. Um, but I think they could be adding more, like Teslas and other cool stuff. But, yeah, so that's kind of another idea I had that they could be adding. And then, thirdly, I think that they'll be adding a beach. So, I said this before as well. But the thing is that the beach could be a pretty easy addition for the game, considering with all what they already all have. Um, another reason why I think they could definitely be adding this is because if you come over here, um, we'll go over to right here. So if you come here, I don't know why they added this area right here, but they added this thing for some reason. It's like a little turnout, even though we already kind of had, like, a little bit of dirt for, like, the turnout. So, I don't understand why they really added this. So, that's why I'm thinking this could be, like, a start to a path to the, um, like, I don't know, the beach or something. Because I think the beach could be behind here, and then we have a river that goes underneath the highway here or something. And then it connects up to the river over there, into the lake over there. That's why I think that could be another thing. Um, and then with the beach, we could be seeing a lifeguard job. Um, some other cool stuff. The lifeguard job would also have a medic bag and be able to do CPR. Um, and it'd be a really cool idea because, uh, I really love lifeguard role plays. I've done a couple at the lake here. If you guys do want to see that, I'll leave it at a card up above right here. But yeah, so that, I just would love to see lifeguard stuff. And I feel like because it's a summer update, they'll probably be adding something like that. So fourthly, I think they'll be adding semi-trucks and a train. So if you guys do not remember the first leak that we ever had, I'm going to pull it up right now. Basically, that leak, we had some ambient sound for our, like, thing. And if you put it in reverse, Cyrix and a couple other YouTubers have done this already. It sounds a lot like a train horn and or a semi-truck horn. So that's why I think they'll either be doing semi-trucks or a train or both. Um, yeah, that could be another cool addition. Once again, many games have added semi-trucks recently. Uh, like jailbreak without real reasons really and it's just really cool in general um see i love the look of like you know that kind of stuff and i just love to see it um like video games so many role plays i do with semi trucks you know what i mean like it's not just like but my only worry that i have with the semi trucks would be trolling inside of public inside of private servers um, but otherwise it's pretty much fine. I'm not too worried about them. And the trains, my only worry about them is if they're a bit laggy or like, you know, they, they like, they're too long. Cause they can't be too long of trains. Otherwise every railroad crossing will be waiting like five minutes to cross. But I guess it could be cool for police pursuits. Um, I love, like, I don't know, it, it, like I can make, inside of some of my movies, I can make a little scene where like, you know, the train is about to cross, the criminal makes it over while doing like a 360, and then the cop, I don't know, is like, oh, get stuck behind the train, like, that's pretty cool. Uh, I could do something like that. Um, maybe you should be able to, like, edit inside of your server settings, like, how to, um, how to, like, s like change your, how, how long, like, how, I think inside of the server settings, you should be able to change how long the trains would be inside of private servers, and they have, like, a max of, like, I don't know, 15 cars or something? Like, I don't know. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, I don't think it's an awful idea either. I would love this, the trains inside of the game. It just seems really cool. Um, and then fifth thing that I have for an idea is they're going to be adding some more buildings in downtown Springfield. So if we go over to downtown Springfield here, um, we arrive... They added recently, they just added these buildings. They added a job for Rick and John's. They added an interior to the Spring Bakery, which is really cool. It's a really cozy, cute place that, you know, 
you can work at, do some role plays, it's really cool. And then across the street from that, you have a theater that has been in the game for a while. It's just, um, it's 4th of July, okay. Um, <laughs> what was that about? Um, it's basically, you know, just a theater. They added this, they added it until the interior. It's really cool. So, yeah, if you guys saw that before I got <laughs> killed by the USA man, um, yeah, they added theaters, interiors, and I think they could be adding more. Maybe another restaurant somewhere. Just some other stuff in general. I think that'd be really cool. And then on top of that, the last thing that I have an idea of is these road signs. So I don't know if you guys saw recently, but they added in the, the like the police week update, they added a bunch more road signs. And then the summer update, they added a bunch of these road signs like this. And I think there are going to be a lot more of those that are going to be added soon. Because, like, I mean, they're just, like, add so much more to the game. And then another really cool uh, thing that they added is like on the bigger roads like these, it says oncoming traffic does not stop, which I think is a perfect thing that is really cool that they should keep. Um, <laughs> um, but I think they could also be adding more interiors to some buildings soon, which would be pretty cool. And then those road signs would add a lot more to the game, you know, that just add some more detail and yeah so that's pretty much all my ideas that i do have um but yeah if you guys have any other ideas go ahead and drop them in the comment section down below don't forget to like and subscribe um and we're i'm so happy with my, my sub count right now um as of this video being posted i'm getting like 30 subs an hour somehow like this is insane like i this has like never happened to me really like i don't know what's been going on with my channel recently but Thank you guys all so much for the support. Um, so yeah, we just passed 1,100 subscribers, and I had 1,000 like a day ago. So this is really crazy. Thank you guys once again all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and join my Discord servers. All in the links in the description but down below. And if you guys have been asking recently about rec t recording team, that's inside of my main Discord. You go down. So once you're inside of my main Discord, you got to click this verify button here. After that, you go down to... FAQ and you click right here on my recording server you click that it'll bring you to my recording server here and um, Yeah, you just have to verify and then we have a bunch of You basically just come here and you just hit the training roll and you can join the training whatever But yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and I cannot face you sadly, but yeah <laughs> Bye